it going guys? Nathan Faith is MRE and today we have a very special ration. Today's ration is a food packet survival Arctic SA from March 1962. Okay, so this is basically a pilot's ration. This is what they would have carried on aircraft probably during the Vietnam War, even though it's made a little before that. Um, any kind of parachute soldiers paratroopers would to carry this on them it is a pretty heavy package it is pretty large uh, it's almost two pounds so basically on the front it says uh in this package well first of all number one developed for to provide sustenance in survival emergencies especially designed to maintain survival efficiency when eaten by one man in one day edible without any preparation maybe mushed into soups who the hell wants to eat a mushed up soup? If water supply is ample, eat off the land whenever possible and save this food packet for emergency. And in the contents list is concentrated food bars, beverages, sugar cream, chewing gum, and utility bag. So I don't know. We'll see. Let's get her open. Well, first of all, we'll look at the backside of it. The key was actually taped on there. When I pulled it out of the box, it popped off. It has some old 1962 tape on it. Does have, does not have any sticky to it at all. Overall, if I don't drop it, the tin is in very nice condition, and it has the pull tab on the top. See a nice picture of the reflection of the camera in there. So let's go ahead and yeah, there's actually dust came off of it. This is actually a P38. So. I wonder if we should P38 this bad boy open or use an actual key. I have both. Um, let's see here. Okay, so we have a little key. I think when I key it open, it is a little easier to display it that way. Um, to just give a size comparison, here is the LA food packet from the other day. And look at the size difference of that. And this one we just have kind of taped together. And look at that. Just a completely different opposite ends of the spectrum on this. Let's see if this tab's gonna work. This key's a little bit on the small side, but it should do the trick. I guess not. So, well, there goes that. I guess we're going to go back to the P38. The P38 is kind of stuck shut. I have to get something to pry. Pry that open for the very first time. There we go. Man, that was uh, quite the long opening. Nice and shiny metal on the inside. It does have a smell of rotten milk coming out of it. Old moldy cheese, maybe. And first of all, we have a clear cellophane bag. Put your food in or trash in or wherever you may. Next up, be awesome if these are good, but they're probably not. Oh, maybe they are. Have old school coffee instant. Ew. There we go. The coffee instant is actually still good. That's awesome news. Very rarely do you ever find one of these that's still good. And the dry cream. Well, let's say that may be uh, to be desired. And we have a or one instant tea, feels like it's still good, and two instant teas. Okay, have quite the full house of stuff here. And I can see you right now, it says fruitcake bar on that one. Might be contributing to some of the smell. Oh yeah, look at that. 
Got some mystery staining on the outside. Oh, that smells wretched. It does smell slightly like fruitcake, though. It's two ounce. There's another two ounce fruitcake right here. Mmm. Smells very sour. Oh, I'm guessing this is probably what the smell is. A cheese bar. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's it. And we have not one, but two cheese bars. We have a Cereal Class 3. I don't know if I've seen a Cereal Class 3 before. We have a Cereal Class 4. Ooh, look at this. Nice little chocolate bar. This one's Candy Chocolate Bar Sweet Milk. It don't smell too bad. I'm sure it's pretty wretched though. We have two of those, both in pristine condition. We have four Domino Sugars. We have three Prestine, well, they look Prestine, Wrigley's PK Gums. We have what looks like two more of these little chocolate bars. That is quite the ration. And there it is. It's empty. So let's go ahead and get into it. Okay, so we got some hot water going for the drinks. Hopefully they're good enough to use. And <clears throat> the cheese bar is kind of open at the end. That should be very interesting. Let's go and open this up and see what's inside of it here. Oh man. As one of you guys said in one of the other video of the salmonella sandwich. And uh, I'm not really sure what all the black flecks are in it, but I'm pretty sure that it's not supposed to have little black flecks in it. Oh man, that is wretched. Man, I don't know. I don't think I'm going to try that. That one's pretty tough. The sourness coming off of that is just absolutely brutal. Let's put that to the side just for a second. And let's go into one of these fruitcake bars. Where is my china knife? Let's go find the china knife. Hold on. Okay, got some fine... Chinese steel here. And let's go ahead and cut this bad boy down a long way. It's kind of some hard paper to cut. Oh, that fruitcake, man. This is going to be pretty tough. Flare out from the side here. Oh, man. It's as hard, petrified hard as a rock. That is going to have some of the most rancid nuts. Oh man, that smells like window cleaner. I don't think that's even remotely edible. Ew. This has some moisture in it. Those raisins are just black in there. I mean, just ugly. Oh man, it doesn't even smell like food anymore. It smells like some kind of chemical. But then again, it's in the foil bag. The foil bags, it just seems like everything we do with those. I don't know if I could take a bite of that or not. That's pretty tough right there, guys. A lot of you guys sit behind the computer saying, Oh, I'll eat that. Or Steve will eat that. Yeah, I don't know. This is like guaranteed. That's probably going to cause some issues with you. Uh, for right now, let's move on to these cereal bars. Take a look at these. Put that guy under there. Plastic's pretty brittle on this stuff. Plastic's really brittle on this stuff. Like our water's done. And this is the uh, class four cereal bar. Oh, damn, it smells worse than the cheese. 
It looks like the cheese. <laughs> it smells terrible. Yep. Yep. Oh, God. That's real terrible. Really terrible. I wonder what happened in here that everything went... Oh. Ah. Everything went so bad. So, so bad. It's so sour. Man. I can't even pick anything. I guess it has fat and stuff in there. You know, I'm not really sure. Don't really have any uh, ingredients. It just says eat dry crumble or in a cup, add hot water or cold water to one and a half ounce. Made by Van Brode Milling Company in Clinton, Massachusetts. Tastes like something came from a milling company. And this was the class three bar. Something tells me the class three and the class four bar. Oh, it smells identical. It smells absolutely just like old. It's like you're at a cheese factory. And there's some cheese in the corner that got dropped out of the out of the vat, and then somebody found it about two weeks later. That's how I imagine that would smell. That is really, really tough and really disgusting. I'm going to open up this chocolate bar real quick. I'm going to do something with the rest of these chocolate bars. Yeah, three pristine chocolate bars left. So this is like a post tropical chocolate, I guess. Actually, it looks pretty good. Look at that. I mean, it's a little blotch lizard up, but ah, it's just so sour, so sour. Well, on the inside, it doesn't look bad. Oh man, it smells like mothballs and cat piss. Oh, okay. <laughs> let's take a bite and see. It's always fine at first. Oh, God. Everything tastes the same in this thing. It's all rancid. Don't know why that is. I don't know. Let's cut open a Domino Sugar. I think at least... Oh, my breath after eating that. Oh, my breath smells like the inside of this ration. Nasty. The nice, super white Domino Sugar Cube. There you go. So white, the camera's hard to pick it up. Probably hard. Really hard. Domino sugar. I think you're okay. I don't think there's an issue there. The sugar made it, guys. Everything else tastes identical. I'm sure this was a very good ration when it was in somewhat within reason of the expiration date. Oh man, this place smells like dirty socks now. Real bad. Okay, foreignamory.com cup or mug. Let's go ahead and try the coffee in that. Let's cut it open and see what the situation is here. The coffee looks absolutely pristine. We could even see that or not. Smells a little weird. I have to be honest, it does smell a little weird. Let's get it out of this pouch in the cup and see. Okay, once it's out of the pouch, it's fine. I guess the outside of that pouch is what smells weird. So we got some water here that is pretty much boiling. All right, that should be good for that. And set that back to the side. And got a little 
Chicago Cup action going on. We'll try one of these instant teas and see how this is. This should not have a tea bag. It should just be a, a fine powder like the coffee. And it is. Can't tell by smelling in the pouch. Looks good. Smells perfectly fine. There we go. And I guess we need a spoon. Okay, let's give her tea a nice little stir here. And I do want to take a look. Same with her coffee. I'm going to take a look at this creamer. The creamer pouch fill, feels over full for some reason. Like there's too much in it. Let me see here. Oh, buddy. Look at that stuff. It's all clumpy and yellow looking. Oh, it smells freaking like spoiled milk real bad real bad this is a stinky little ration just look at that gee oh no way so 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 sour sour nasty it's my stripper name back in college didn't go to college but that was still my stripper name okay so let's try this coffee out. Take a smell at first. It smells perfect. It smells like there's nothing wrong with that whatsoever. And there's probably not. No moisture got to it, which it did not. It should be good to go. Let's take a drink and see. That is some <clears throat> very old school, very bitter coffee. Very bitter. I'll drop a sugar cube in there. We'll kind of let that percolate a little bit, and we'll shift over here to our tea. Almost knocked it over there, didn't I? Nice little foam on top of it. Let's take a smell. Tea smells absolutely delightful. I know, delightful, right? Let's take a drink. Absolutely nothing wrong with that. It's very eerie. It tastes like that was just produced yesterday. A nice, fresh take on that. Not a stale, not a staleness to it at all. I guess when you have it in that fine of a dehydrated powder or freeze dried or whatever the method is they use to do that, I guess it holds its uh, flavor pretty good. A sugar cube. I don't feel it in there, so I think we're dissolved. Take another drink of this real quick. Give a nice little sweetness to it. Took that bitter edge off of it. Very nice. And last but not least, let's shift ahead here to this nice Wrigley's PK chewing gum. Two nice chunks of it. Let me see if I can break that. Sure can. It looks just like the gum and pass rations. Has a nice mint oil smell to it. Let's take a half and see how it does. That is actually perfect condition. Very minty, very nice and fresh. Nothing weird about that at all. Hmm. Yeah, the gum was absolute, absolute pleasure. Some nice 56 year old tea and gum. Can't beat that. This other stuff, you can beat that. <laughs> that's pretty tough. So that's gonna be all for today's video, guys. That's going to be all for the 1962 Food Packet Survival 
Arctic SA. Thanks for watching, guys. Hope you enjoyed the video. And as always, don't forget to check out my Amazon store. The link's in the description. There's rations, survival kits, stuff like that on there. That's it, guys. Thanks for watching. Have a good day. We'll see you later.